Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, we've got a DVD review, and this time around I'm reviewing the DVD of a wrestler called Goldberg, the Ultimate Collection. So, straight away, if you know me, or if you've seen any previous review films that I've done, uh, I am a wrestling fan, I've reviewed other wrestling DVDs, films such uh, also reviewed wrestling games uh, currently playing uh, WWE 2K14 the review should be up by now of wrestling and Goldberg is probably my all-time favorite I've got two really there's Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin CM Punk's like the third one Goldberg I started watching WCW first back in 97 or whatever it was um, when it was on Channel 5 Fridays, 8 o'clock, I used to watch uh, all the WCW then, and Goldberg was the wrestler, really, um, it wouldn't be a WCW Nitro event if Goldberg wasn't on it, really. Like I say, he was my favourite wrestler, and uh, I've always been a fan of his, even when he went into the WWE, and, well, they didn't use him right, really. But yeah, once I got a sniff of Goldberg DVD coming out, couldn't wait. And as soon as it was on Blu-ray, I went out and bought it, really. Uh, the other day, it took me about two days to watch this. Uh, it goes on for 8 hours, 12 minutes, approximately. You get, if you get it on Blu-ray, you get two discs. There you go. And you get a few extra, uh, few extra matches if you get it on Blu-ray. You get a uh, 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 world title battle royal from Road Wild, back in WCW days. Uh, Goldberg vs. Bam Bam Bigelow. You get a Monday Nitro Goldberg vs Sting from 8th of November 1999. Uh, another one you get Starcade Goldberg vs Bret the Hitman Hart. Uh, that's from S December 1999. No disqualification match for the WCW World Heavyweight title. And then you get a match from Raw 20th of October 2003. Goldberg vs Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship match. But really, disc 1 is really all about his WCW days and then disc 2 is all about the WWE days so yeah two disc edition from WWE themselves all about Goldberg's ultimate collection now like I say I'm a big Goldberg fan I love the guy uh, I think he's probably the best wrestler ever really uh, massive fan however I'm not the biggest fan of this DVD really uh, I've got all the WCW DVDs, The Rise and Fall, and The Greatest of WCW. And, uh, yeah, there's there's interviews of Goldberg then, of how the man came about. So, like, his tattoo, he says that he's always wanted one, and the tattoo guy just drew it on. Fair enough, that is not in the DVD. And then the tagline, who's next, says that he was sat at a table with WCW producers and friends. He says the waitress came over and says, who's next? And there it was. And the spear as well, he said that he came up with it like a, I don't know, I think it was like a few hours before his match. He said to a trainer, do you trust me? And the guy says, yeah, and then he just ran through it. And it's things like that, how he got the tagline, how he got the tattoo, how he got the moves. They're not in here. There's not one interview from Goldberg himself or friends or Vince McMahon even. You know, how did signing Goldberg come about? What about The Rock, the first match he had in WWE? Talk about that. The real life feud that he had with Chris Jericho. You know, talk about that. Uh, matches with Sting. How about at, uh, in Atlanta when he won the title against Hulk Hogan at the Georgia Dome? You know, things like that. He said that in one of the WCW DVDs I've got, he says that they packed out uh, the Georgia Dome with friends, family. Uh, thousands of people from his hometown. He says that if it was a pay-per-view, he would have sold it out. Whereas it was, it was a Nitro event, and they didn't sell it out. Or they didn't market it right, and things like that. I mean, it's great that most of his matches are on here, but there's no interviews. There's no backstory. Uh, give us, you know, where, how did he? Where did he grow up? You know, brothers and sisters. Uh, where did he go to school? When did he become interested in wrestling? How did he get into wrestling? Who got him into wrestling? You know, stuff like that. Even if it's from an old DVD, put it in this and then you'll stick a load of matches around it. Like they have done with other wrestling DVDs. Show some of his backstory, if he's ever coming into wrestling. 
show us his cars because I know he loves his cars. Talk about films that he's done, anything. Yeah, give us the backstory of Goldberg the man rather than just stick a load of matches on and you know, put a Goldberg title on and fling it out on a disc. It's like the streak as well. Who came up with the streak? Was it Goldberg? Was it WCW producers? Did they want something to compete against The Undertaker? You know, did WWE ever come calling while he was in WCW? It's things like that. It's like when he became World Heavyweight Champion, he was also the WCW United States Heavyweight Champion. Now, what, what happened to the US title? You know, did he drop it? Did he hand it in? Did he... You know, did someone beat him while he was still World Heavyweight Champion and he still had the streak running? Yeah, let's have an interview with Kevin Nash or Scott Hall. Whose idea was it to use a taser and poke him with it? You know, stuff like that. What was his relationship like with Kevin Nash? You know, did he like Scott Hall after he tasered him? One bad thing as well with how they've laid it out, apart from my little rant of interviews and backstory, is the fact that his streak is legendary in wrestling. 173 and 0, I believe it was. And the fact that there's no sort of count on the disc, even if it was like a really quick count, you know, match one, which the show, but then it goes to say match four, something like that. And it's like, what happened to two, three, you know, keep them in? Even if it's like really fast forward, have it as an extra, you know, the streak extra, match one, and do it really, really quick with a count and stuff like that. But they don't, they just jump. And it's like, watch a match and it's like, oh, it's 15 and 0. Then, it, then you watch the next match and it's like, oh, it's 12 and 0. And keep them in chronological order with a, a street counter. Even when you're watching the DVD, there's no sort of date or, or venue even, you know. Give us, a, give us a venue, you know, is he in America? What state? Is it a Nitro? Is it a Thunder? Is it a pay-per-view? Is it a house show? You know, is it December? Is it January? February? You know, what year? 93? 96? Stuff like that. It's great that there's a DVD that has Goldberg's matches on. However, it's not great that they haven't got a few interviews with him. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about wrestling. Tell us about your family, uh, your cars, your hobbies, other things apart from wrestling. Um, the films that you've done, how did you get into doing them? You know, interviews from other wrestlers. You know, did Chris Jericho actually like you? You know, who knocked who out in WCW? You know, give us some, you know, some footage from backstage areas of, you know, walking through while, you know, you were, you were on the first Raw before you speared the rock. But there's not. And it's a shame, really, because I'm a huge Goldberg fan, and I love Goldberg. I think he's an awesome wrestler. You know, I wouldn't be wearing his jersey if I didn't think so. But then it's like WWE thought, ah, Goldberg is a big name, let's put out a few DVDs and stick his title on and, you know, the fans will buy it. But they've ruined this one. The Triple H DVD that's come out at the same sort of time as this, I bet that's got a lot of detail, a lot of interviews, a lot of matches. Whereas this, it's got no interviews... And it's a shame. It really is a shame. If you're a Goldberg fan, then you'll love it. However, be aware that there aren't any interviews, backstory, nothing like that. If you're used to do WWE DVDs with an interview of the main character on the cover, then you will be disappointed because there's nothing like that in this Goldberg DVD. However, guys... Toby WCD, don't forget, 20% off any Read the Devoted gear. But, thank you very much for watching my Goldberg DVD review. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Just remember, there aren't any backstories or interviews or extras, really. Just out-and-out -out matches, which is good, but it also has its downsides. Thank you for watching my review slash rant of Goldberg.